Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a kingfisher. To begin I get the paper wet because I will give a light tone with watercolor to the background so that the paper is not white. I paint blue at the top and green for the rest. These colors are not very vivid, they are more on the greyish because I don't want them to stand out. They are just the background. I lift any excess water with a tissue paper. And once the paper is dry, we can begin sketching. This is the top of the head, which they have it very large. And the wing comes down like this. Here is a closer shot. He has some feathers that stick out on the back of the head. And the line of the back should go around here wider than what I had it. Try to make your lines smooth. Very good. And the rest of the wing. They have a very long and strong beak. And large eyes also. I am sketching with a blue Prismacolor called Erase Pencil because they can be erased and so I can make corrections. Let's draw his little tail just a little longer and then a pole where he's standing. His feet and I will indeed correct the eye because it is too high. But first let's draw the neck nicely here and I shade some of the beak. The eye, as we said, goes lower. Now I switch to the Prismacolor Premier, which are wax based, and so the colors are much more intense. However, they are very hard to erase. So sometimes I prefer not to use them for the sketch. <laughs> Just in case something goes wrong. I will be using mainly light blue and dark blue, but in the area of the face they also have orange, yellow and some other colors. They are beautiful birds. They fly very fast and they are pretty brave. They defend their territory fiercely. And this one, which is the common kingfisher, fishes mostly in rivers and sometimes through holes in frozen water. We can add some grey in some places and as you see I'm drawing in layers. That is, I apply a color more or less lightly and then I go over on top of it with a different color, applying it a little bit more heavily. Generally speaking, I try to keep my pencils sharp. I sharpen them continuously because the leads of these pencils are pretty soft and so they get dull pretty rapidly. Let's add some yellow and orange for the front part, which by the way, it is believed that the orange earthly front helps to camouflage him when he's on the ground or in his nest, while the bright blue back assists him to blend in when he is flying over the rivers and the shiny feathers on his back are similar to the reflections of the water. The kingfisher is about of the size of a sparrow bird, so that's pretty small, and he has a very unique silhouette, with the stop tail and the long beak in a sharp triangle. And now let's give color to the pole where he is standing. For this we use browns, yellows, an orange, a blue for the shade, a very light grey, almost white for the lights, and then some grey because I don't want an intense, vibrant color. And then we add some brown and even black. When working in layers, as I said, it is pretty important to lay down the first layers lightly so that you can apply the later layers on them. The list of materials that I used is in the information below the video. We give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Finer Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.